Hi, this is Larry Fisher. You're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Right. For starters, how, how did that feel? I mean, your NFL debut, what were the nerves like before the game? Yeah, no, I felt good. Um, finally going out there, um, able to get my feet wet a little bit, um, being able to, you know, go out there and play against another team that's not our team. Um, you know, that was fun, being able to play with other guys too. Um, you know, it was all in all, I think it was a good day um, for everybody, um, being, able to, being able to go out there, um, display what you can, and, uh, you know, just kind of being in the moment, having fun with each other, and going out there and just executing good football. How many strides do you think you've made just this week, coming back, getting a couple practices in, and then taking it up in tonight? Yeah, I think I just got a lot more confident, um, you know, within my abilities, within the playbook, um, being able to study the playbook the way that I did, um, for certain things to kind of stick to me going into this game. Um, allowed me to go out there and play fast and kind of play my game a little bit, play a little bit relaxed. But um, all in all, just you know, going out there, just playing confident um, and just playing my style of football at the same time too. The big play was a pump and go. Do you feel your skill set? I know you're so quick and, and burst off the line. Do you, do you feel that that kind of route really complements your skill set? Um, I believe so. I would like to say so. Um, I mean, that's what I've been doing for a long time now, um, being able to just to kind of to display my speed a little bit and also my route ability. So. Um, you know, at the same time, it was a great play call, good execution on both ends. So, be able to you know have a completion after that. So, that was a good play call. When you uh, had a hamstring injury in practice, I assume you probably knew you were going to be out for more than a few days. How, what were your emotions, you know, when that happened? Um, getting the playbook. That's all you can do. <laughs> that was my first thought. Getting the playbook, staying in the playbook. Uh, just because you have this injury doesn't mean you know you got to stop. So. Um, I just continue just grinding, asking questions, asking coaches, um, asking you know my teammates as well too, certain questions. Um, you know, being able to watch film as well too when I went back, and um, you know that's what I, that was my mindset going into that thing. You look comfortable feeling punts. Not everyone looks comfortable feeling punts, obviously. Is that just something in your DNA? Did you reach a, a level at some point, like in college, where you're like, "Hey, I kind of got this"? Yeah, I'll definitely say um, my senior year of college. Um, you know, my coach over there, he really honed in on me about that, um, being able to display, um, you know, versatility in my game, and not just be a receiver. So he's like, you know, you need to get really good at punt returning and fielding punts. So that was, um, you know, my whole senior year. That's what I was doing after every practice was fielding punts, um, getting very comfortable. And then when I came over here, just continue to translate that, what I did in college and over to here, and just continue to get comfortable and get better at that. Did you have, like, X amount of punts that you would field a day? Um, I, would, I would say about roughly around, like, 10 to 15 I would a day that I would, before practice I would do. Anything else? Good. Thanks for that. This is ESPN Radio announcer Mark Kestisher for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.